I used to stay up all night trying to find my place, chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness. Give me a little faith, something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way. Then you came to me and you gave me reason. Can't believe it. Every time we touch, I feel at home. There's no way I'd ever let you go. When you put your hands in mine, I'm gonna be alright. I don't know what you do to me, but I feel like I am wake up in the sky. When you put your hands in mine. Hey sweet friends, welcome back to our channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Ashley and today I have some cleaning motivation for you. This is a Thursday for me and I am focusing on the upstairs of my house on this day. I'm trying to tackle all the areas and get it just organized and clean because me, Madison, and Ryder will be going out of town for her dance competition to Chattanooga, Tennessee and we'll be spending majority of all day Saturday and Sunday there. We will not be getting home until really late Sunday night. So I wanted to make sure that my house was clean before I left so that way when I come home I'm not stressed trying to get everything organized for Monday morning. I just feel like Monday mornings go a lot smoother when my house is clean and picked up and tidied. So I'm starting off in Ryder's room. I'm just picking up all of his toys, putting them back where they belong, and then I'm also going to be vacuuming his floors. Once I'm done in Ryder's room, I'm going to head over to Jacob and Jeremiah's room and clean their room as well. I'm going to be changing their sheets, washing their sheets, and then just dusting their room, picking up a few things, and vacuuming as well. So if you have some cleaning that you need to get done today, I hope today's video gives you all the motivation you need to tackle whatever it might be that you need to get done, whatever it might be on your to-do list that you would like to check off. If it does, please let me know down below in the comments because I love hearing when you guys get up and clean with me. It truly does make my day. It's a remedy, a remedy
So now that I have the sheets in the washer washing, I'm just going to be dusting all of their surfaces in their room, giving everything a good wipe down and clean. Once I'm done doing that, I'm going to be vacuuming the floors as well. And I wanted to talk about Jacob's bed for a little bit. Um, his bed is the bottom bunk of the bunk bed and no one has ever said anything in the comments, but there is cardboard around the base of his bunk bed. And um, I know it probably draws some attention, especially in today's video, because you saw me put something underneath his bed. But since Christmas, when during Christmas break, we had all the boxes and everything, he built like a fort underneath his bed. And there's like little sections underneath there that he can hang out in. And he just keeps changing it around. It keeps him occupied. He's my creative one when it comes to stuff like that. And that's just what he enjoys doing. So that's like his little fort underneath his bed. It was his imagination. You can see the cardboard right there and um, he just like I said he just enjoys it so why not they're only this small once it's not that big of a deal but it is an eyesore so I wanted to just mention that because no one's ever asked anything in co the comments but I'm sure if you've seen it before you're wondering what in the world is that and there's also like craft things under there as well like you see those water bottles that's some little thing that he made like a um, it has paint and stuff in it. I don't know. He's just very artistic and crafty and whatever makes him happy is okay with me. He enjoys it when he's doing that stuff. It keeps him off of his iPad and all of the electronic devices. So I'm fine with it. But this is the before. This is what their room looked like before I cleaned it. And then I will show you the after. Jacob's bed is still not made in the after because his bedding is being um, washed and dried at the time. But I do make that later on in the video so you will see me tackle his bed as well. But now this is the after and once I'm done in their room, I'm going to head over to Madison's room and start in her room. The first thing I'm going to do in her room is bag up all of her clothes that she has outgrown or no longer wants anymore. We keep a basket in her room where that's like she tosses everything that she does not want anymore. So that way I can bag it up and pass it down to my sister for my niece. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to go through these clothes. There's a few items that I know that my niece will not want. So I'm just putting those to the side to get rid of. And then everything else I'm bagging up and I will hand them to my sister for my niece. Once I'm done doing that, we will tackle her room. We will get it all clean and then also vacuum her floors. But like I said earlier in this video, me, Madison, and Ryder went out of town for her dance competition. So that's what I'm preparing for. And I just wanted to kind of tell you guys a little bit about our weekend. We had a lot of fun together. It was definitely a very busy weekend and very um, tiring, I should say. It was long hours, but it was worth every minute of it. Her and her dance team did so good. Her whole dance studio did awesome. She performed once on Saturday, and then she performed three other times on Sunday. And it was just a lot of fun. Ryder enjoyed every minute of it. He would be sitting in the little dressing room waiting for Madison to perform again and she would leave to go hang out with her friends and he would say, Mommy, go watch Sissy dance. Watch Sissy dance. He just loved every minute of it. It was a lot of fun, but like I said, it was very tiring. So when I came home, I was exhausted and so was Madison and Ryder, but it, like, it was worth every minute of it and I'm looking forward to her next dance competition. So I just wanted to kind of tell you guys a little bit about our weekend. It was a lot of fun and the boys had nothing to do, to do they were supposed to have baseball but it got rained out due to weather so um, we did not get to or they did not get to go to baseball so that's why I took Ryder with me thinking that they had baseball he could have stayed home with the boys but that's okay it was fun he enjoyed it so I'm glad that I ended up bringing him even though it was very tiring having him with me but um, he def definitely enjoyed every minute of it but I feel like right now is a perfect time to just reintroduce myself in case you're new to our channel or this is your first time ever clicking on one of our videos. Like I said earlier, my name is Ashley. I'm a stay-at-home mom to four beautiful children, ages ranging from 13 all the way down to 2. I married my high school sweetheart, Nick, and we have been married for 14 years, together for 16 years. We live in Georgia. Um, our oldest is named Madison. She is our only girl. And then we have Jacob, who... Um, is our oldest boy. Then we have Jeremiah and our youngest is named Ryder. We also have two dogs named Holly and Bo and they are golden doodles and together we are the Swanson crew. Our kids keep us super busy and I would not trade that for anything. I love that they have extra activities that they do outside of school and it just keeps us very busy. So I started YouTube two years ago in hopes to give other busy mamas like myself motivation to get up and get some cleaning done and laundry done or just help give you some motivation to check things off your to-do list and to let you know that you are not alone in this cleaning journey. 
Like I always say, cleaning and laundry will always be there for you, so don't stress over it. I know that with our crazy busy schedule, I find myself stressing, stressing over keeping our house clean and organized all the time, but I have slowly realized that that is not what's most important. My kids and family are, and making memories with them definitely comes first. So if my house is a mess at night after a busy, crazy, long day of making memories, that that's okay because the house will still be a mess the next morning and I can tackle it then, but I might not be able to ever get those memories back that we made that day. And that, like I said, is what's most important to me. One thing that I've started doing that has seemed to help is um, making a list of things that I would like to accomplish during the week. And I slowly just check those things off when I have time. Some days I'm able to check off so many things. And other days I can't get anything checked off that list. And that's okay. But I hope that I'm able to help you know that you are not alone in this cleaning journey. And that on my channel you can find like tons of cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, as well as decluttering and organizing. So if any of that sounds like something that you might enjoy... I hope that you hit that red subscribe button and become a part of this family here with us because I would love to have you on this journey with me. So now that I'm done cleaning Madison's room, this is what her room looked like before I started cleaning and then I will show you the after. And once I'm done showing you the after, we are going to head into the master bedroom and tackle that. I'm gonna be dusting all the surfaces, wiping everything down, giving everything a really good cleaning, vacuuming the floors, changing the bed sheets, and then once I'm done cleaning our room, I'm going to do a little bit of laundry and then we will head into the master bathroom and tackle that area, give everything a really good cleaning in there, wipe everything down, and then that's going to be it for day one. And on day two, we will be doing a lot of cleaning downstairs and some deep cleaning. But since I've done a lot of talking at the very beginning of this video, I'm going to pick a few of my favorite songs and let them play now. So hopefully the music gets you up, gets you moving, and you're able to get some cleaning done with me.
makes me shiver Sometimes I can't believe that you are mine Love's a gun and baby, you're my trigger You kiss me in a way that gets me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right Just being around you We could break up and then make up I always come back to you You move me in a way never thought anyone could you get me high off my drug when I am feeling blue Yeah, it's all you
So this is Friday, which is the next day now, and I'm focusing on cleaning the downstairs area. I've already done some deep cleaning, and I'm going to do a little bit more deep cleaning in this video. I cleaned the bar stools, which was something on my list of spring cleaning that I really wanted to tackle, so I got those clean. I've also dusted all of the walls, um, especially like close to the ceiling area downstairs because they were so dusty. And I took care of that. That was on my list of spring cleaning that I wanted to tackle as well. And now I'm just cleaning the downstairs, um, the kitchen. I'm always in the kitchen. This area is always really dirty. So I just want to keep it up and I'm wiping down all the appliances, the countertops, and just keeping it clean because this is just an area that I spend a lot of my time in. So it definitely stays pretty messy. So I just want to try to get it all clean before I head out of town. So the older three are home from school on this day. It was a teacher's work day, so they did not have to go to school, which helped me a whole lot because I did not have to go sit in car line or anything. So I was able to check more off my to-do list, which made me really happy because like I said, I was trying to get all of this cleaning done before heading to go out of town with Madison at her dance competition. So this is the before of what the kitchen looked like, and then I'll show you the after. Once I show you the after, I'm going to focus on cleaning my coffee station area, as well as cleaning the mantle area. I'm just trying to dust everything and get everything super clean because I want to decorate for Easter really soon. And then once I'm done cleaning those areas, I'm going to move into the dining room and clean our table really good. I want to get into like all the crevices that we have on our table with my um, Bissell Steam Shot and just get all of the crumbs and stuff that's stuck in there out. And once I'm done doing that, I'm also gonna be cleaning our dining room table chairs as well because they are filthy. Just wait until you see how much I was able to get out of our dining room chairs as well as our bar stools and how nasty they were. Reboot, I'm cold red, my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord off
never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do So now I'm pouring out the nasty water that came from our dining room chairs as well as our bar stools. They were definitely disgusting and needed some cleaning so I'm glad I took the time to clean them. Once I'm done doing that I'm going to clean our kitchen sink really good and then clean the hutch in our dining room area and then I'm also going to be vacuuming the stairs and that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I hope I was able to give you some motivation to get up and tackle some cleaning, get some cleaning done, laundry done, check something off your to-do list, whatever it might have been. I hope I gave you all the motivation you needed to get it done. If I did, please let me know down below in the comments. I love hearing when you get up and clean with me. It truly does make my day. If you enjoyed hanging out with me and I gave you some motivation to get up and get some cleaning done, then please consider hitting that red subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to have you on this journey with me and a part of our family here. And if you're already a part of our family, I just want to say thank you so much. We truly appreciate each and every one of you and you just all mean so much to us. I am so thankful for you guys and you just don't understand how much you mean to me. Don't forget to like this video, it really does help our channel out. And please leave a comment down below because I love chatting and getting to know each and every one of you. Don't forget to come back for some laundry motivation. It should be posted Saturday or Sunday this week. Sorry that my schedule is a little off, but I should be back to normal next week. But definitely come back for that, and um, I will have some more cleaning motivation and laundry motivation next week as well. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me. It truly does mean the world. You guys, just like I said, you all mean so much to me, and I'm so thankful for you guys. I'll catch you in the next one, friends. Bye. Bye, fish.